welcome back to ground support equipment an introductory course do you all know that there are nearly 20 ground activities performed on an airplane and each of it is performed by a specialized machine equipment or vehicle in this lecture we will learn about the basic understanding of ground support equipment we will also take a quick review on the content of this course now these machines equipment and personnel gather around the aircraft for servicing to make the aircraft ready for next flight as soon as possible because an aircraft does not make any profit staying on ground the wide range of activities associated with the aircraft ground operations lead to an equally wide ranging fleet of ground support equipment these activities are undertaken during a typical aircraft gate period including cargo loading and unloading passenger loading and unloading portable water storage lavatory waste drainage aircraft refueling engine and fuselage examination maintenance and food and beverage catering airlines employ specially designed ground support equipment to support all these operations moreover electrical power and conditioned air are generally required throughout the gate operational periods for both passenger and crew comfort and safety and many time these services are also provided by ground support equipment now there are two categories of ground support equipment powered equipments and non powered equipment the non powered equipments are those which do not require any electrical power to operate such as dollies chocks aircraft tripod jacks aircraft service stairs and the powered equipments are those equipment which require electrical power to operate such as tugs tractors gpus buses belt loaders asus etc we shall discuss each of them in detail with their type operation and functions so let us take a look at the content in brief this course has been divided into three sections section 1 introduction section 2 aircraft ground support equipment and section 3 aircraft ground handling we will begin with the introduction about the course then introduction to gses then we will learn some basic terminologies and lastly we will conclude the section with non powered gsc we will further proceed to section 2 which explains all of the powered equipment we will understand the operation of each equipment one by one and finally we will move on to section 3 which comprises of ground handling ground handling refers to services provided to facilitate the aircraft flight and aircraft ground operations in this section we will also learn how all of these equipment come together and make the aircraft ready for next flight i would suggest you all to go through all the lectures as they are structured to get a better understanding of the aviation environment we shall jump right into learning the basic terminologies required to understand the course in the next lecture